the anthracnose fruit rot caused by the fungus Colatotricum acutatum. Today, we are going to talk about what anthracnose looks like, where it comes from, and how to manage it. When anthracnose first appears on fruit, a sunken area forms which eventually grows and turns black, producing pink to orange masses of spores in moist conditions. The anthracnose fruit rot fungus mainly enters the strawberry field on plants from nursery stock, since the fungus can colonize plants without producing symptoms. Symptoms often appear during favorable weather conditions, including rain, high humidity, and warm temperatures. Fungal growth and infection is favored by rain events that last for several hours. Since spores are formed in sticky masses on the surface of strawberries, they do not generally spread long distances through wind in dry conditions, but are mostly spread through rain, particularly rains accompanied by heavy wind that drives spores longer distances. Dark sunken areas can occur on all fruit, from immature green fruit to mature harvestable fruit. With humid conditions, orange spores will begin to appear. They can also appear on stems. Shriveled infected berries, as well as infected plant debris, such as leaves and stems, can continue to spread the disease if they are left in the field. Other potential sources of spores within the season are nearby crops, weeds, and decaying leaf tissue attached to transplants. So what can we do to prevent this fungus from infecting strawberries? Unfortunately, it is impossible to fully prevent infection. Despite their best efforts, nurseries cannot guarantee delivery of clean planting stock. Consider spreading out risk by obtaining plants from several different reputable suppliers. Also, using varieties that are less susceptible to anthracnose may be a good idea. Managing weeds in the field can also help decrease disease pressure. Avoid planting crops that are highly susceptible to anthracnose near strawberries. If possible, protect plants from rain. Removing infected berries and plants and burying them outside the field may also reduce infection risk, but such activities can spread the disease and should be followed by a fungicide application. Now you know a little more about anthracnose fruit rot on strawberry. Hopefully this information will enable you to better help strawberries in their struggle against anthracnose, making the world a better place one strawberry at a time.